Hey, welcome back to the Marketing Ninja podcast where Manuel shares his business, marketing, and branding strategies he's used to build seven to eight figure businesses. All right, let's enjoy the show. If I had one superpower, what would it be? I don't think I've ever said this one right here. I talked about my superpower a lot as a marketer my ability to understand businesses and give direction and guidance. I think my greatest superpower is my desire to really create a positive impact in the lives of other people. That is my superpower because that has led me to change the lives of people. Like my partners here, I have changed their lives. I really have. I've given them a better path for them to succeed and do better in life. My employees, I have changed their lives. So anybody that I come into contact with, I almost feel with utmost certainty that I'm going to help them improve their lives. And so, so it comes back to me. They help me too. So I'm not saying that I'm the one that's helping them and I don't get anything back. But whenever I get to have somebody close up, I care about them so much that I guarantee their lives will improve. I know that for a fact, their lives will get better. Whatever that is, their personal lives will get better. They're going to make more money. They're going to feel happier. They're going to enjoy their jobs. They're going to have fun. They're going to maybe feel more relaxed and less stressed. They're going to win more life and feel more accomplished and all that good stuff. How do you get people to do better? You have to care about them. You really have to care about them. So in my case, my superpower is really, really, truly, honestly, sincerely, wholeheartedly caring about people because that leads me towards being able to impact their lives, which leads me towards being able to develop loyalty and having them fight for me, my mission, my goals, my purposes. And then we have this magical chemistry in which we're all winning, we're all growing, we're expanding, we're conquering together. It's a beautiful thing. La vida bella. It's great. What is one thing that um, I could suggest to somebody that's dealing with a bad past? My favorite philosopher uh, is somebody that has helped me out a lot. And his name is L. Ron Hubbard. He wrote a lot of scripture and a lot of great books and delivered thousands of lectures. There is a quote. He wrote a code and that code is called the code of honor, code of honor. And one of those points in the code of honor says the following, never regret yesterday. Life is in you today and you create your own tomorrow. So that's something that I live by because no matter what you were yesterday, you can be something else today and tomorrow. Because what you are is based on the beliefs you hold about yourself. 14, 15 years ago, I used to believe that I was a failure and I wasn't meant to succeed and I had no evidence that I was going to be successful. And now, whatever I get going with, I succeed at. It's because I have a different mindset. My belief in myself really drives my success because I know and I believe that I can accomplish success. There is another quote that I don't know who it belongs to, but it says the following. If you say you can or you can't, you're right. Isn't that incredible? So whatever you say, whatever you think, thinking about something is boss, is the leader. The way that you approach life is how you move about in the game of life and business. The way that you think about yourself, your own horsepower to win in the game of life is 100% dependent on your own thinking about yourself. Because in life, if you really believe that you can succeed, step one, you acquire information. It's going to help you open up doors. Step two, you execute that information. And sometimes you execute it for free to people so they can get value. Step three, when a door gets opened, you walk through it. That's the summary of the formula for winning in life. Right there. I just told you. That is exactly how I got myself here. I started thinking about myself that I can accomplish success. I started realizing that potentially there's opportunities out there. And all I had to do was walk for these opportunities, figure out how to put myself in front of them and take advantage of them. Number one, I believed in myself. Number two, I obsessed over acquiring knowledge. And I dove into this world of information that we have. Courses and YouTube channels and social media platforms and all these people that are trying to give you value, especially the ones that are practitioners and selves that are succeeding in their own right. Acquired information like crazy, started applying some of that information. I found people that I can apply that information to, people of power and influence that allowed me to deliver that value to them for free. I had those people open up doors and that created my world today. It's all built on this formula and a combination of correct decisions along the way. Few wrong decisions 
with a bunch of correct decisions that led me to massive success. So get that knowledge, apply it. First of all, believe in yourself, get the knowledge to help you win in a particular area, apply it, find people that you can apply this knowledge to, give them that value, I promise you, they will open up doors for you if you truly give them value and then walk through that opportunity door and never look back and just keep on moving forward. And that's how you win. It's not about systems. It's not about universities. It's not about education. It's not about any of that in the traditional systems of the world. It's about you following that formula and then you'll win. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.